Mario, one of video games' most iconic characters. Developed in 1983 as an arcade game, its arguably first main success came in the form of a 1985 game released for the NES and Famicom, Super Mario Bros. Mario is known for three main things, murdering his caregiver by jumping off his back to gain a little extra height, being able to jump five times his own height, and murdering innocent lives in the hopes of getting a few extra coins. Yeah, that's right. Mario is a greedy, sadistic psychopath. In the manual for the original release, it states, The quiet, peace-loving mushroom people were turned into mere stones, bricks, and field horsehair plants, and the Mushroom Kingdom fell into ruin. So every time Mario breaks a blip, he is murdering the lives of innocent toads. Speaking of breaking bricks, how much force would be required for Mario to break an entire block of bricks? Well, breaking bricks isn't an entirely new concept. Martial artists will break bricks as an act of strength. However, the way they arrange the bricks makes them more like con artists. Although breaking stuff does require a lot of skill and strength, they are stacking the decks in their favor. They use more easily broken materials, and stacking cement carefully placed with spacers is a lot easier to break than a solid cement block of the same mass. And there is a huge difference between the loosely packed cement used to make cinder blocks and the dense, fire-hardened clay bricks seen in the Mario world. We know these are constructed grain bricks because we see them being used to build castles and whatever the hell this thing is. So, let's talk about size. Mario's cannon height is 1.55 meters, or 5 feet 1 inch. Using pixel measurements, which is counting up the number of vertical pixels and dividing it by Mario's height, giving us about 0.05 meters per pixel, then adding up the pixels in a brick block and multiplying it by the 0.05, we get the size of block of brick to be about 0.8 meters, or 2.6 feet. So, now would be a great time to talk about the three main forces in engineering. That is tensile, compressive, and shear. Tensile force can be thought of pulling, compressive as pushing, and shear as cutting. Bricks have a very high compressive strength, which is why they're great for building. They have an average compressive strength of 45 newtons per square millimeter. However, they have very low shear strength by comparison, at only about 3.49 newtons per square millimeter. Which means that while they can have literal tons of weight on them before they start to fail, they can withstand significantly less impact force before breaking. Shear stresses are measured in cross sections. To find the cross sectional area of a cube, we take the length of the cube and square it. When we square 0.8, we get 0.64 meters squared. The only problem is that when Mario breaks a block of bricks, they split into four pieces, not two, as seen here. Fortunately, the easy fix for this is to multiply the cross-sectional area by two to get 1.28 meters squared. Convert this to millimeters squared to get 1,280,000. To find the force Mario needs to exert to break the blocks, we use this formula. Shear strength equals the applied force over the cross-sectional area. Rewrite the formula since we're solving for the applied force to get the applied force equals the cross-sectional area times the shear stress. Plug in the numbers and you get 4,467,000 newtons of force. For reference, the average boxer can hit with about 5,000 newtons of force, yet Mario's punching at almost 900 times that. The strongest bone in the body, the femur, takes 4,000 newtons to break. Mario can break 1,100 femurs in just one punch. But this gets way better. Yes, Mario can deliver an insane amount of force, but surface area also plays an effect. Bullets can hit you with as little as 62 newtons, but because they deliver over such a small surface area, they deliver an insane amount of pressure that can, you know, kill you. Measuring the size of Mario's hand using the pixel measurement nets us 0.15 meters, 
since 1 Pascal, the unit for pressure, is equal to 1 Newton of force over 1 meter squared, this means Mario is punching every block of bricks with 198,542,200 Pascals of pressure. That is almost double the pressure found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, the deepest section on Earth. It is certainly enough to break the human wrist, meaning that Mario must not only have superhuman strength, but also superhuman durability to not shatter his wrist every time he throws a freaking punch. And that is the physics of Mario.